Today's tutorial is this Ice Demon look. I am so in love with this. I hope you guys like this too. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to voiceover and let's get started. Taking this blue paint from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, I'm going to paint my whole face and take it down my neck and chest area. Just all the areas that you're gonna be able to see. I'm going to paint over it with this flat foundation brush. Also making sure you cover up those ears since we are slicking our hair back. Setting my entire face and chest area with the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder and making sure that that doesn't budge once we put the shadows over it and everything. You want to go ahead and put a little bit extra on the areas if you get oily or anything. I have a troubled T-zone so I make sure to pat that down extra well. And then taking the black from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, I'm going to go ahead and draw out my eyebrows with that. We want them to be really fierce and extra dark, but I'm not going to block them out. I'm just going to make sure that the black is like a regular eyebrow, just a little bit more fierce on the ends. And then I'm going to set that all down with Noir from Anastasia, just a black eyeshadow. And then I'm going to clean them up like I normally would, but with the blue paint instead. And I'm going to take this silver from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm going to create like a cut crease with that shade. Taking Frosted Yum from the Nikki Tutorials and Too Faced Collaboration Palette, I'm going to place that all over the silver and just make it a little bit more glittery instead of just silver. And then taking this dark blue shade from the Morphe 35B Palette, I'm going to be contouring my face and this is just to give it a little bit more dimension. We're going to put black to actually give it like that contour effect but this is for shadowing purposes and to look a little bit more natural. Well like natural if we were blue. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and pat that out to blend it in a little bit more. And I'm just going to do that on the outer parts of my face just like I normally would contour. We're going to do the same on like the collarbone area and all of the places that we accentuate when we move and stuff um, on the chest area and the neck. So I'm just going to take that blue and just kind of shadow it a little bit more, give it some contrast. And I'm going to make sure to blend that out with the powder puff because I guess I didn't set it down too well with the translucent powder. But it's very easy to blend out and so I'm just going to do that. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I had to do that to get the little neck area. And then I'm going to go ahead and very much exaggerate the contour on my nose and I'm going to take it into the brow bone. Then taking the white shadow from the Morphe 35B palette, I'm going to go ahead and contrast the body and the face even more. I'm going to give it some highlights to the high points of my face. On the face, it's the area that you would normally highlight and I'm going to go ahead and kind of drag that along my entire forehead as you'll see in a little bit. And then I'm going to take the black shadow and I'm just going to exaggerate the contour even more. We want this to be very dramatic and it's acceptable when you're blue. So you want to go ahead and go in with a little bit at a time and then blend it out. I want her to be very structured and extra. And this is really going to help just look a little bit more natural in the sense of being blue. I don't know if you were to picture a blue girl, she would look like this, you know, the blue really helps the shadowing and then the black just helps accentuate and exaggerate it a little bit more. So I'm going to do that along the entire face and also go back in towards my collarbones as you will see in a little bit and just make that a little bit more dramatic and dominant. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you're going to go ahead and blend that out with powder puff and then once that's done I'm going to go ahead and start highlighting the collarbones and like the cheekbones areas, just the normal areas you would highlight if you're like going out and you want to be extra dramatic. Got that shoulder highlight and everything. And I'm taking the silver shadow from the Nikki Tutorials and Too Faced collaboration again. I'm going to go in with a little brush and then later I'll go in with the heavier brush to do the forehead. And the reason I went in with the silver shadow instead of like a white highlight is I felt like it was a little bit more icy. 
And then I'm going to take this black lipstick and just draw out my lips like I normally would. And then you'll see in a little bit, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Mega Liner and I'm going to trace out my lips like if I'm lining my lips. And then I'm going to also drag them out a little bit to give that little bit more of an evil effect that we're going for. Then taking black in my waterline and I'm going to drag that out. But I wanted it to be a little bit more tighter because I felt like it was a little bit more dramatic. So I went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit with the blue paint. And I took the silver shadow again and just kind of added some glitter to my lips. I really love the effect that this gave it. It was a little bit more extra. And then I just cleaned up the lips with the blue paint again. And then taking the same liner, I'm going to give myself a nice wing. Taking the NYX glitter glue, I'm going to go ahead and start putting that on the hairline. And then I'm going to build that up with the Makeup Shack. I'm not sure what brush this is. I will link it in the description. And then I went ahead and placed some glitter. And this is my favorite part of the entire look. I fell in love with this idea. And so I went ahead and just piled it on and made myself look very extra. And I felt like this really helped with the whole icy effect. I thought it was so cool. And then I'm going to take some of the glitter glue on my inner corner and take literally from the Nikki Tutorials and Too Faced collaboration. And I put that on my inner corners. Just go ahead and paint your hands pop on a creepy contact and you are good to go. That is the completed look you guys. This is freaking awesome. But if you also liked this video or this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I will know. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. You could also go ahead and check out my previous Halloween tutorials. Share this video, leave a comment. I hope you are having a really good day or night, whatever time you are watching this. I hope you have an even better day tomorrow and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.